Hey guys, what's up? It's Tracky. Um, doing a tutorial today on uh, the color correction lens for Sony Vegas. I'm gonna go ahead and pull another Vegas up because I'm actually rendering my first tutorial I just did about five minutes ago now. Which you guys have probably already seen, uh, depending on which one I upload first. So, um, anyway, color correction lens in Sony Vegas. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, yeah, so I just kind of found out this, about this not too long ago. As you can see there, it, it kind of like, uh, thing like, I don't know, it just like, lenses out. <laughs> um, it looks really nice. Anyway, uh, what if you, actually, I haven't met a lot of people. But somebody told me that this wasn't something I should use, but I don't know, I, I just like it. Uh, so I'm actually going to do it on the same clip, it's one of my clips from episode 6, I figured, eh, why not use it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's a good, it's a pretty good clip to edit too. Uh, let me find it, there it is, oops. Didn't want to watch it. I guess we'll watch it, if it was. Anyway, this is a great clip to put Twixter on, uh, and you know, just the two effects combined is really beautiful. So, uh, it's, it's really not that hard, um, you're just gonna find the spot you want to do the effect. Uh, and a lot of these effects, Twixter just seems to go really well with them. So I'm gonna find the spot I want on Twixter, right there, split it, and uh, go ahead and put my Twixter on there first. And uh, I don't know if I've ever said this before, and I don't know if I said this in my last tutorial, but I do several renders when I edit something. Uh, the first thing I do is I always do a sync. Uh, the sync, the gunshots, the twixer, and RSMB. That's my first render. So um, after that, I don't have to really worry about a whole lot. But anyway, um, we're going to do this. Mm, how are we going to do this? Let's see. We'll put it right there. That's where we're going to start it. Actually, we're just going to put it on the Twixter. Fuck it. Pretty much on the Twixter. So you're going to insert a video track. You're going to copy this. And uh, paste it above it. And I'm going to drag this up just a little bit to where I want to start. Anyway. One thing with working with Twixter in here is you have to pre-render it. Otherwise, you see right here, it'll like freeze up. It's kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right there, I guess. Uh, and you're gonna need a plugin for this. It's called uh, New Blue. It's the New Blue version two stuff. Uh, and it's just a lens correction. I think that's what's called. I don't even know. Lens correction, yeah. Uh, and I have two presets. The uh, here, I'll tell you what they are as I get into this. Why is this messing up? Yeah. So um. The first one is a negative 92.6 for distortion and 2.6 for the zoom. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to animate it. I'll put the sync cursor on. Uh, what the sync cursor does, it is... I don't know if it's on. It, it's, it stays with the frames on the video. So you can see where it's at. Anyway, uh, um, and then I have a preset for the end. It's a negative 14.8 and no zoom. And that's where you want to stop. And get this in the right spot here. Is it all the way down here? I want it to be like in the Twixter part, like the best part of the Twixter. Where it ends. Oh well, we'll just put it here. And then at the very, very end, finally, um, reset. To, oops, reset to none is what I wanted. Not that. So uh, I'll try to pre-render this. 
I'm not gonna make any pr actually you know I'm just gonna go ahead and run this out and I'll pause the video until and uh I'll be back in a minute so uh yeah guys very hey guys what's up so the uh oops watching a video while I was waiting for that to finish rendering anyway uh the render's done so uh here's what our final product looked like kind of messed with it a little bit uh to get it to look decent uh not much I could do but we'll see how it looks here yeah it was really off but anyway you can see kind of the effect that actually looks horrible um Yeah, that looks terrible. Anyway, uh, you guys kind of see what the effect is. That's how it is. It's really about the keyframing, how you get the keyframe space, and where you get the effect to start at. Um, once again, like I've said, I do my, my Twixter and all the syncing and stuff before, so that I can kind of, you don't know, have to worry about the Twixter lag in here, because you can see I just did it right here. And uh, it's, just, it's just a better way to, to edit like that. So... Um, if you guys can maybe leave a thumbs up for this tutorial, it'd be awesome. I don't expect to get too many. Um, I'm actually thinking about making a little commentary about something I want to get off my chest uh, here pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, leave a comment in the description if you want to see some type of other tutorial or whatever. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.